<laughs> this is another thing I ain't gonna worry about when I go where I'm going. Anyways, hi y'all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, illustrious family, and welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Here's a story for you. Thought you might want to hear it. Here it go. Republican Congresswoman introduces bill to end federal marijuana criminalization. Um, dozens of states have legalized recreational or medical marijuana use, while a supermajority of the public supports ending its prohibition. Yet the federal government hasn't caught up, and marijuana remains technically illegal under federal law, even in states that have outright legalized it. A libertarian-leaning uh, Republican congressman, congresswoman, is leading to charge to correct is leading the charge to correct this legislative dysfunction. South Carolina Republican Nancy Mace recently introduced the State's Reform Act, a bill that ends the federal prohibition and leaves it up to states to make their own call on uh, marijuana legislation. Every state is different. Cannabis reform at the federal level must take all of this into account. And it's past time federal law codif uh, codifies this reality. This is why I'm introducing the States Reform Act, a bill which seeks to remove cannabis from Schedule 1 in a manner consistent with the rights of states to determine what level of cannabis reform each state already has or not okay um uh, she says that um the state's war reform act is different than others because of the low excise tax the way in which it's regulated usda atf and tdb fda are protections for veterans and criminal justice reforms it's also the one with the best chance of bipartisan support. Uh, so that's what, um, you know, she says. The legislation is co-sponsored by five other congressional Republicans. Republicans Peter Myers, Tom McClintock, uh, Don Young, Kenneth Buck, and Brian Mast. It would end the federal prohibition of marijuana. Uh, require the automatic expungement of federal criminal records for those convicted of nonviolent marijuana offenses and set a 3% excise tax on marijuana. Uh, this tax is much lower than the 10 to 25% levied by Democrat legislations. And Mace Bill freezes the excise tax at 3% for 10 years to stop the black market from lingering as has happened in states like California where mar marijuana is legalized but heavily regulated and taxed therefore underground uh, you know is still uh, we still have to go up against the black market the beauty of the states reform act is that it's simple and reasonable and comprehensive and reasonably comprehensive, I'm sorry, uh, Reason Foundation Director of the Drug Policy, Jeffrey Lawrence said, who helped craft the legislation, enacting major social change requires broad bipartisan agreement, and the States Reform Act uh, checks that box. Because the States Reform Act makes incremental practical reforms, it could actually be um, drawn bipartisan support and pass the polarized Congress. If it does, it will make life must eat much easier for legal cannabis businesses and users who face many financial and legal headaches because their activity is still technically illegal under the federal law, even though their state might say it's okay. So, we ultimately should live in America where no peaceful individual activity like adult marijuana use is criminalized or outlawed. It's just ridiculous. But progress takes time, and any legislation that takes us a step toward freedom is a welcome development in my book. Yeah. 
you actually you should go back because realizing that it was um, not on a schedule one until I believe 1930 what five or so marijuana was uh, prior to that was not even looked at as a schedule one um, uh, which is insane but anyway how about that what y'all think about this Republican congresswoman that introduced this bill uh, to in uh, to, to, to introduce federal legislation to stop the criminalization of marijuana. I want to know what y'all think about her. And again, her name is uh, she's a she's li a libertarian leaning Republican. Uh, her name is Nancy Mace. Nancy Mace. She's from South Carolina. All right, what y'all think about that? You know, because she introduced her bill, it seems to have a lot of support. Leave your comments below and tell me what you think about it. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.